Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Lindley's World of Weather. Clicked on to long range what uh long range weather forecast discussion for March twelfth to twenty fourth. March twelfth to the sixteenth. The patterns will establish. We have a ridge here near the Aleutians, trough over Alaska and the eastern Pacific, ridge in the west, trough in the east, with strong positive height anomalies over eastern Canada and near Greenland. Okay, next on the impending possible how can I phrase it? Uh, East Coast system. Now, um, there still remains uh, a lot of uncertainty in the track of the low, and we're going to get into that. Okay, what you're looking here now is the, what is this? The European. Here are Friday. We go into Saturday. And let's see if I can, um, you can see it on the bottom of the screen. And Monday, and there it goes. The, the, the European is more suppressed to the south. Now we look at the, let me see which is, this is the European ensembles. This means sea level pressure. Let me see if I can. Um, this is the map that I wanted to load yesterday that wouldn't load, but now it's loading. This is the mean sea level pressure. And this is the individual members with the surface low placements, okay? Um, here we are at Saturday, Sunday, whoops. You can see the low, um, they're all pretty much in good agreement there down across um, the Gulf Coast, you can see it there. Then we go into now look at the difference here. Now we start seeing a lot of divergence in the models. This is Sunday morning, 1 a.m. Then we go to, uh, let me see, Sunday 2 p.m. We have several system developing off coast, um, but they're pretty well clustered inland. Then we go to Monday. And you can see, like, here's the individual members, um, all clustered around here. Then we go to Monday, like I said, and then we go later into Monday. Now, here's the center of the low. This is a favorable track for a heavy snow. These are the individual members. And then it kind of goes. See where the surface slope part goes right over Long Island, but they're pretty much clustered here. And then we go into Tuesday, then it's pretty much offshore, but um, these show like the possible uh, scenarios. Now, um, the system now, let's see if I can get to this other map. The system now is inland into the west. You can see this on this water vapor map. And Um, now that it's overland, we should get better sampling of the upper air data and will hopefully lead to better output in the models. Until then, there remains uncertainties in the early part of this forecast. Depending on the loads track and the extent of cold air at the surface, wintry precipitation remains possible anywhere from the lower middle end to the northeast. Now, in the west, a uh, strong, slow-moving upper low is forecast to slide down the west coast and an eventual track over the southwest late in the week. This will result in unsettled weather in the west. Temperatures will remain above normal in the west that spreads into the center of the nation. The east will uh, be below normal temperatures due to the persistent trough across the region. 
Now we're going to look at the period for um, March 15th to the 19th. And during this period, you can see that the pattern kind of shifts inland, kind of shifts eastward. The upper low, the trough here slides into the west. We still have our trough here. Still have our positive anomalies here, positive anomalies near Greenland. And then we look at the rest of the models. They're in fairly good agreement. So for this forecast period, I am forecasting above normal temperatures here. And forecast it. Well, I would say I'm forecasting above normal temperatures east of this line. This will be closer to normal. And I'm forecasting anomalies to be about um, four to eight degrees above normal. And I'm forecasting below normal temperatures, I would say east of this line here. And I'm forecasting anomalies to be about two to four degrees below normal for precipitation. Calling for above normal precipitation here. Probability of occurrence is 40 to 55%. Below normal precipitation forecast for this region here. Probability of occurrence is 40%. Now I'm going to take a look at the period from March 20th to the 24th. And here we are at the 20th. And the pattern continues to shift eastward and becomes less amplified. I'll show you that as we get through here. The positive anomalies will almost be disappeared from the northern high latitudes, but remain here. Our trough over the East Pacific pushes inland, ridge in the middle. And then we go to the end of the period. This will be the 24th. This will be the 23rd. Look, zone of flow, but near to below normal heights across much of the nation. And the models are pretty much in agreement. A little bit of a ridge pops up in between. But overall forecasting for this period is um, near to below normal temperatures across much of the, the nation. Probability of uh, the anomalies will be two to six degrees below normal and for precipitation. Above normal precipitation is forecast for the West Coast states. Probability of occurrence is 40% and below normal precipitation is forecast for the Southern Plains and the Southeast. Probability of occurrence is 40%. So that's the long range weather forecast discussion for March 12th to 24th. Thanks for coming to Jim Monley's World of Weather and have a good day.